I'm Chris Jones and I'm the Environmental Solutions Business Development Manager for Edwards. Let's talk about science-based targets, what it means to be science-based, how it reflects in climate change, how do we measure success versus the science-based targets, and what commitments Edwards are making. So science-based means that a decision is made either based on the scientific method or the use of results from scientific experiments. We've been studying the impact of atmospheric science on climate change for over 200 years, and there's now a consensus among scientists that man-made emissions of global warming gases are causing global warming and climate change. We want to restrict global warming to less than two degrees C, preferably to no more than one and a half degrees C. And this will help mitigate against the worst aspects of climate change. Science-based targets provide a clearly defined pathway for companies to reduce their greenhouse gas emissions to meet those temperature goals. Our understanding of climate science has been developing over the past 200 years. Scientists such as Joseph Fourier, Eunice Newton Foote and Svante Arrhenius uh, we're able to identify that the atmosphere plays a significant role in maintaining the Earth's temperature, that carbon dioxide and water were significant contributors to the blanket effect, and that should the amount of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere double, then the Earth would warm by 4 degrees C, and that would have significant impact on the way that we live. Move forward 120 years, and we've now got global systems for measuring greenhouse gases and the average temperature of the surface of the Earth. And the scientific community has moved from a position of uncertainty to near certainty that the rises in global temperatures are associated with man-made releases of global warming gases. At the first conference of parties, COP1 in Berlin in 1995, global warming was recognised and more research was recommended. Move forward to 2010 and we get the first mention of one and a half degrees C. By the time we get to Paris in 2015, COP21, we're now setting firm targets of less than two degrees C or preferably one and a half degrees C. We need to ensure that our pathway to one and a half degrees C is both realistic and measurable. It's important that we have plans that are independently validated, publicised and reviewed. Companies will start by submitting a letter of intent to organisations such as the Science-Based Targets Initiative. They then move on to using the accountancy principles enshrined in the Greenhouse Gas Protocol to estimate their own global warming gas emissions. This needs to cover all greenhouse gas emissions, not from just their own factories, but also from their suppliers' factories and the use of their products in their customers' factories. For near-term targets, they need to identify at least 95% of the emissions from their own operations and more than two-thirds of the emissions from their suppliers and also from the use of their products in their customers' factories. Edwards, as part of Atlas Copco, has committed to reduce its own emissions by 46%. It's also committed to reduce the emissions of its suppliers and the use of its products by 28%, all by 2030, versus a 2019 baseline. These reductions have been judged to be consistent with a 1.5 degree C pathway by the Science-Based Targets Initiative. The key takeaways, science-based means decisions that are made on the basis of scientific method and results. Over the past 200 years, we've been able to demonstrate that man-made releases of global warming gases, such as carbon dioxide, have caused significant global warming. We want to keep global warming to less than two degrees C, preferably below one and a half degrees C. This helps mitigate against the worst aspects of climate change. This can be done by committing to reduction targets across our value chain that are consistent with the one and a half degrees pathway. They must be independently verified, well publicized and regularly reviewed. <music> <music>